and 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 how do you know this? Um, it's just such a statement that just it it it's it's I, I, I'm trying to I'm, how can I say this? It's it's such a useless statement because what's plenty? Five, twenty, a thousand, a million, and what's racist? Um, you you don't want to live around black people or you um, said something offensive in 1982 and you still haven't been forgiven for it. Like, what the fuck are they talking about? There are yeah. racist Anybody? people in this country. And there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country. And I feel we like don't know we, that. Well, we, we don't know that. The FBI director said white supremacy is but the that biggest is, but that threat. Still to doesn't... Our... So we're going to have four contributors on a Friday, Op Nation. We're going to have four contributors on a Friday. Wow, that's crazy, Optimus. Um, yeah, man, what? what the fuck? There are yeah. racist people Anybody? in this country, and there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country, and I feel we like don't know we, well, what, we don't the know FBI that. FBI director said white supremacy is but that the does, biggest but that threat still to our country today. Well, that still doesn't mean that that's the vast majority of people. I just don't believe that in my data. She said that. She quoted uh, that Biden thing. What's up? See, see, most people, if you ask them, like they would not describe themselves as racist. That's the thing. Like everyone has a different bar. Yeah, but no one that they think is racist is racist. And the people that they think are victims are the biggest race. Tali, think about it. If they watch that interview with Tali Kweli, they would walk away thinking Pierce Morgan was racist. <laughs> right. Okay, well then, okay, Ak, you tell us. What, what is racist? You give us a bar. Racist is, 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 is a lot of things, man. Racist is talking. I don't believe in power, all that power bullshit. Because in the neighborhood where I'm at, it's some little 16-year-olds with their pants hanging off their ass that got all the power around here. Right. Racist right, right. equals white. And, and and these white people that own these million dollar homes, even though they're not like mansions, they're just regular Brookstones, regular row houses in DC, but they're worth a million dollars. These white people who own these fucking homes don't have any fucking power over here. None. They can go all the fucking town hall meetings all the neighborhood meetings they want to and ask for all the shit they want from the government to stop crime and they ain't not gonna get none of it. And they and 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 when they walk the streets, some fucking Pukisha's 15-year-old fucking half retarded son could take their life in an instant. And it'll never happen the other way around. Other way around. There are yeah. racist and people in this country. And there are yeah, absolutely right. racist yes. people in this country. It is not the vast majority of people in this country. And I feel we like don't know well, that. we don't the know FBI that. The FBI director said white supremacy but is that the does, biggest but that threat still to our doesn't, country today. Well, that still doesn't mean that that's the vast majority of people. I just don't believe that in my day-to-day -day life that the people that you're encountering harbor racist viewpoints. I do think that this division that if we're you creating... you look like me, you would believe differently. But you know what? Uh, uh... <laughs> you look like a white woman. You look wow. like a white woman. She's look how you look. Right. Look how She's you power look. tripping. She's yeah. very light. Got no high one. yellow. And no she's culturally person. appropriating the blonde hair. Yeah, no white person sees her no. with that grain of hair and that skin and says, My God, I can't be around this person. She's black. Yeah. My God. Like right. even her face. So I must depress her. Her features are white. Yeah, they're her, white. Yeah. She, there's nothing about her that screams black. Now, if you want to say, okay, like, yeah, she's not a glider. Yeah, she's not a glider, but still. But she ain't Whoopi either. You put her and Whoopi next to each other. <laughs> they're not the same. Yeah, I can see Whoop. I'll give Whoopi a pass saying <laughs> shit like that, but not her. She's not worse. Her. Nah, her and Whoopi are in a different phylum. They're not the fucking same thing, bro. Yeah. But, but it, but if Whoopi yeah. made the claim like, oh, they look at me and see a sister, yeah, for sure. 
But well, it would still be bullshit, but we could let it. We could let it pass. Yeah, exactly, said it for sure. Exactly. I'm looking at, at least see Whoopi it's went Mad Max for you right now. <laughs> Did this woman's in the same group with Whoopi the same way? Fucking um, um, George. Well, let's just say somebody like fucking um, Cheech and Chong is in the same category with Ricky Martin and shit. <laughs> Like this, <laughs> this, she, <laughs> this bitch is not. Yeah, she's not the same genus, the same familia as a fucking as me, man. We, no, we, no, she, she, she's like, like at least fifty percent European, probably. Yeah, of yeah she's like fairly ethnic. The hair don't grow out of your head like that. And, and have y'all seen her husband? No. Oh my god. Is he a glider? Or what is he? Oh, a glider. Let me show you. Let me show you, man. Man, it's just every single one of these chicks, they always have a glider husband. Always. But she, said it, but she said it was such a con with such conviction. If you look like me, you wouldn't shout out, big. <laughs> right. Like she's just like like she's just like getting like harassed. Getting on and, and yeah, getting chased. <laughs> she's getting she's getting <laughs> chauffeured. She's getting chauffeured in limos every day back and forth. Right. In this, in this naked racist her. country, this is her husband. Yeah, that those are some biracial things going on there. That's that's you this can't call that family. black. That's not this black. You family. can't call that black. I mean, it looks like a nice family, man. Um, it just sucks yeah. that they had to fucking play that card, you know? Yeah, but these people aren't like. Uh, okay, so this is her father. I think yeah, this is her father. Okay. Okay. So I wonder what the mother looked like if that's her father. Right. So her I, mother's pretty light, probably. Legally blind. Yeah, exactly. Mother's probably legally white, man. Um, passing. Um. Anyway, she's Emmanuel. a whole ass black woman, so you know. Probably Emmanuel, I purposes. think it's juice crew. She's gonna tell us about white supremacy and she. Yeah. No, but she it is. It is. Right. It is pretty <laughs> courageous of them, uh, for as much as um racism they face every day to have a smile on their face like that right you're, you're right yo you're, she's gonna talk about her mom growing up my mom used to look at my hair and shut the fuck up right like like when i look at this picture right this this picture hold on let me see where the fuck am i um yeah like when i look at this picture i don't say like yeah every time this chick goes out like she, the KKK is like followed her around. It's like I just don't. <laughs> Not at all. No. She's like one shade darker than all the other white women. Barely. I think she's the same shade, really. Yeah, well, the, the and, uh, it's gonna be pretty hard to tell on a night ride. Yeah, exactly right. True indeed. I think the, the, the I think the glider next to her is a little bit darker than her, really. <laughs> but Whoopi, Whoopi yeah. is clearly like. An indigenous African woman like that. Yeah. That's black. She a whole, she a whole system. No admin. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Yeah, she, she's she's. How, how, she how does it? Oh, how does it work for sons? Like, do they accept having this biracial girl, or like, do Hell black yeah. girls hate oh, yeah. her, or like, no? How does it work? No, it's complicated, man. It's a very complicated. Thing. Like, <laughs> she's black. She's black if she if she's woke and if she or she's gangster, right. mm -hmm. she's ghetto. But if yeah. she's if she acts like a white person, she like. Acts like you know proper. Like stuff. Candace Owens. This she's white. No, I mean like she has manners. Oh, or she, she, if she articulates. Yeah, yeah, like you know, um, and and you know has different sensibilities other than sun sensibilities. Yeah. You know hobbies and shit, different hobbies. Then yeah, they'll okay. call her a white girl. But if she's like, if she was like hood, and like. If she was mamming. Yeah, anything that was. Black, she would, yeah, she she she's black, and then men, black men, of course, they gonna call her black because you know it's their preference. Yeah. And, you can, and, and you get the, you get to say you have a black woman, but you really got a white woman. Damn. Yeah, they got a but, double dip. Well, they got to right, or else the sun women are gonna tear them up, right? So they kind of have to. Right, that's yeah. crazy respect. Uh, these crows will go on about social justice and DEI and shit, but they won't give up their jobs. And if you ask me. There's too many mm -hmm. gliders in this view. The view should just be all sun. Yeah. 
the uh, look what happened with Rachel Maddow, right? She had that. She ran into that issue. The whole, the yeah. whole like woke shit landed in her fucking on her head. Yeah, She's more of a grifter, some, less of a retard. Salute to um, salute to Chris. She said, "Ever watch the the jerk?" How do you rate Gladys Steve Martin acting as a poor son? Steve Martin is a comedic genius. Comedic genius. He's he, um, he, he, uh, if you have, if you ever seen two movies, Trains, Planes, and Automobiles, and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, Steve Martin is a comedic genius. Go watch those two movies if you get a chance. Those are classics. Trains, Planes, and Automobiles. And and um, dirty rotten scoundrels. Um, yeah, uh, salute to um, hey man, Martin um, Short. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let, let, let's see. Uh, we also got uh, Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cat Ripping. I think that was from last night. Um, and then we got um, Palmer Henderson in the building. Man, shout out to Palmer Henderson. Salute the Lord Bailey. Smokey Treat says, Ah, is that you in CT's chat posting with your channel icon as an avatar under the name Jared Nigron? Nah, nah. Nah, I don't, I don't comment. I don't the comment. In CT's, I, I, I don't comment in CT's chat. I, I watch the show, but I, I I don't comment. I don't like I don't I, I may send a super chat, but I, I don't I don't comment like that in, in his in his channel. I wonder who's Jerry. Who is I, don't know who I don't know who that's well, doing so, that. Salute to them, though, if they're listening. Shout out to them. Yeah. Um, salute to um, salute to uh, Mike D. He said, what's the word? I get paid on the third. Salute to you, man. Salute to Doug Chunks. Gift in 20. 20. I think that's a record. Bye. 20. Troll. 20 Oc Nation memberships. Man, make sure y'all get them, man. And make sure y'all also join the Patreon too, man. Because I'm I'm gonna start doing live streams on Patreon. I, I, right now, I think I, I'm hoping the baby comes today or tomorrow, man. Or at least the next day, man, because things are starting to pick up, man. So um, God bless uh, you. You ready for that? You don't got a choice. It is what it is, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just ready. I'm ready for things. To, you know, things are picking up. It, it, it's everything, everything, all things in time, all things in due time, man. You can never, you can never, ever predict nothing. You just gotta let, right, let right. it go, man. Um, Roll with well, the Yeah. Well, I know the odd nation. Uh, if you go in my A, I know they're going for show issues, so they better act like it, right? Yeah, man. Um, salute to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripkin, aka the real MVP, coming through once again. Yeah, man. I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, once the you know when the baby drops, it's it, um, I don't know how that's gonna work with the show, but we're gonna we're gonna keep the um, oh. videos coming. Hold on, hold, let, let me just let me just say this, <laughs> please. Let me just say this. Um, we gonna um, we gonna keep the videos going, and you know what I'm saying the um, the, the clips gonna keep the clips going, and I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try to get back to regularly scheduled programming as soon as possible, but let's see what that looks like, man. And it may be shorter, shorter live streams, you know, just because you know you have a crying baby around here. Um, but we want we want we we gonna play it by ear. You you can never tell, man. You just gotta. You know, thanks. So, hey. the real Bobby, man, go ahead. Hey, sorry, I just got excited. Uh, I wanted to ask you a question uh, concerning how you're gonna, you know, keep your kid out of the street life. If you don't <laughs> mind me asking, you can't, man. You can't keep no black kid out of the street life if they, if they want to. If they want to be in the street life, there's nothing you can do, man. All you can do is, because because it's the allure, man. It's off. That's authentically black, man. I've been there. You can raise them however you want to raise them, but being authentically black is kind of like being 
in the street. That's how that, that's 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 kind of like how it is, man. So a lot of kids, a lot of black kids from all different backgrounds, all different homes gravitate to that because like yo, like you can be accepted, you can have status, you can be somebody. So it's very hard to keep black kids out of the street. You just hope that um they're interested in other things so that they can, you know, flock to that stuff. And plus, black kids are very um what's the peer pressure? They're, they're, they're excellent peer pressurers. I think black black kids are the best peer pressurers in the world. Um because they just know how to like um corrupt people. Like they're not a corrupt thing. They're not a um make it it's so, it's so cool being a badass you know not giving a fuck you know um think about it yo how many how many of you guys have ever wanted to just shoot somebody like somebody pissed you off and you just wanted to fucking yeah. shoot your ass yeah for let's, sure let's keep it a buck man like oh uh, yeah well sons literally Act like they act on those emotions. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hold on, and, and they're walking the streets, and they're in your neighborhood, they're in your schools, and they're cool. That's for, your job. And, yeah, and, and and your kid fucking goes to school with these kids, and the allure that man is 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 hard to um, it's hard for a young impressionable person to fight that man. So I don't, I don't. I don't um I don't have any like advice on how to keep sons out of the streets, especially some men. Um it's easier with the girls, but it's still hard with them too. Um salute to um TCT, man. He says the best thing going on YouTube. Going. Oh, best thing going. <laughs> you have no idea how many long drives your show gets us through. I play your reactions to historic videos to my kids. Oh, damn! My man plays it to his kids. That's very, very interesting. Hey, I wonder. Hey. I wonder how that goes. I wonder what the. I wonder how old they are. Yeah, all of that. Hey. I'm curious. Hit the link, man, and let us know how that goes. Hey, salute, Ark, yeah. for answering that question so in depth. Yeah, man. Try to appreciate um, it. Thank you, man. Um, hey, I got a. I got a question. How how long do you plan on staying? Um, with your kids for like how long do you plan on staying? Staying with my kids. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, what kind of like, when do you plan on? When yeah, do you, man. When, when do you plan on leave leaving them? them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where are you going? <laughs> Meet Bob <laughs> Patel. Goddamn you face, know. Patel yeah, keeps it straight. A hundred. Damn. Like, where are you going? Um, get them pack of smokes and be gone. Right, man. You're awfully articulate, um, Oc. What, what do you mean by that? Dude? What do you mean, Patel? Right. I'm confused. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, I mean I was saying like well five years, four years, at some point you gotta leave, right? <laughs> Damn, I thought crazy, you man, man. Son, man, you you stereotyping us, man. That's fucked up, man. Um, let me see. Uh let's see. Um let me get to some of these this fuckery, man. <sighs> A Milwaukee man is now charged.